let your struggle become your strength. Oftentimes our strengths are also our struggles. But if you have a struggle, for example, more than likely I have some ADHD or I don't know what they call that stuff, uh, compulsive disorders, whatever, whatever they call them anyway. Whatever we have, whatever our struggles are, sometimes our struggles, in my opinion, if you can identify your struggle, the thing you struggle with, focus on it and help it become your strength. One of the thing, one of the characteristics of ADHD is, is looking around and, and having other things bother you, all the things that are going on around you and they bother you. Well, I've taken that to a, a situation where I'm very aware of everything that's going around me so I run roofing crews really well. So I can see what's going on and I can help people, like Carrie Lloyd says, it's kind of like an orchestra. I can, I can guide and direct an orchestra and, and orchestrate great teamwork and great smooth motion even though uh, I might be a little bit, you know, ADHD or compulsive or whatever the case may be. Uh, allow your, your strengths, I'm sorry, allow your struggles sometimes or cause your struggles to become your strengths. If you find a weakness, see how you can acknowledge the weakness and then make it become a strength. Um, I tell my kids all the times, and they have various struggles that I won't go into right now. They have various struggles and I say to them, breathe deeply of the struggle and the, of the struggle that you have. This difficulty that you you're you're blessed with you feel like it might be a cursing but allow yourself to acknowledge that you struggle in this area and then gain control of yourself and make it become a strength so you can what so you can help other people get through the same struggle whether it be pornography whether it be uh, drug addiction whether it be alcoholism, whether it be a bad temper, whether it be anxiety, you know, and all these things we have struggles with uh, in our families and in our, in our relationships, but allow those struggles to be acknowledged, repaired, or, or dealt with the best that you can do, and then allow that struggle to become your strength.